Mm. Hi, my name is Bradford Thompson. I'm a 2006 James Beard Award winning chef, and I'm here relaxing uptown on my day off. So I'm gonna make some barbecue lamb. I'm gonna use my new ISI whipper and siphon to do toasted almond espuma and some fried pea shoes. So why don't we go inside and get cooking? Today's dish, we're gonna do a pepper crusted lamb loin from Colorado. We're gonna do an espuma of toasted almonds. So we have organic almond milk, thyme, garlic, and raw sliced almonds. We have a beautiful spring pea salad. They're just all coming into season now. So I have English peas, snap peas, snow peas, pea greens, and then little baby pea greens. We have uh, bonito flakes. We're gonna make a stock with to carbonate, and then that's gonna make our tempura batter of uh, rice flour and egg, and then the carbonated bonito stock, which we're gonna tempura the pea greens for. All right, so to make the almond espuma, I have my uh, raw sliced almonds, which I'm gonna dry toast, meaning I'm gonna put them in a pan, medium heat, and we wanna cook them almost till they're burned. When I can, the edges are turning color, and when I can really smell them, I'm gonna add the garlic and the thyme to it. This is important at this stage to keep stirring. I'm gonna come off the heat and I'm gonna pour the almond milk. So I have about three quarters of a liter in there. Back to the heat, I'm gonna give it about a minute to come back to a, back to a boil almost. And I'm gonna shut it off, cover it, and it's gonna sit for an hour to two. Um, I have a powdered gelatin and then I'm gonna add that to a hot liquid which is coming to a boil. So the almond milk's been steeping for a couple hours now. It's still warm. So I'm just gonna have a little salt in there and then I'm gonna strain it. I wanna strain this because in the whipper, any of these little, if we were to blend this, any of the little chunks uh, that might still be in the liquid make, can, can clog it. Good, all right, now the fun part. So chilled canister, chilled liquid, put the lid on, and then I'm gonna charge it. Uh, two chargers is the maximum you wanna put in this. Screw that all the way on, you'll hear it, and you'll feel right away, you'll feel it get cold. Let it sit for a second, do a second one, all right, just give it a quick shake, and I'm gonna throw it in the fridge for about two hours. So now for the meat, I'm just gonna trim up the lamb loin, just peel the fat cap off. So you can see this is a very lean piece of meat. This is a great thing about where I live. Um, anytime I have a day off, I try and get out here and grill. And I'm just gonna throw the lamb loin on the grill, and um, I'll just vent that, I'll let that sit. And the lamb loin's about one beer. So about halfway through the beer, and we're just gonna give it a flip. Grilling in Harlem on a Wednesday morning, nothing better. Beer's done, means the lamb's done. I'm gonna take that and let it rest, and we're gonna go inside and finish the dish. We're gonna make tempura batter. I have rice flour. I'm gonna put one egg in here, just kind of break the egg up. And then my bonito flakes, kind of break these up by hand and mix them into the batter so I get nice pieces of it. So once that's incorporated, I'm gonna grab the, uh, the soda siphon, which I've charged already. So I'm gonna add a little bit of a little bit of soda at a time. I don't want this, you can see how bubbly that is. I don't want this to be too wet, so I'm gonna add a, just a little bit at a time. All right, so we have just kind of a, a rough batter. You can see it's almost like a, a, a thin pancake batter, and there's still some little chunks to it. Now I'm ready to fry the tempura. All right, so quick toss in the batter with these. And these take about a minute and a half probably to fry. What I see here, is it because the batter with that carbonation, the batter really gets light and uh, puffs out when it hits the fryer. And then as soon as they come out, I just wanna dust them with a little bit of fine salt. And that can sit for 15 or 20 minutes. So we're ready to plate. This really gets served room temperature or even chilled. Just put some of my espuma in the middle of the plate like that. Because we're not doing a sauce really, this, you know, this becomes the sauce. And it also, it holds the peas in place. And I'm gonna slice my lamb loin and I'll sort of just rest these right on top of the peas. Um, I have a little bit of finishing salt, and then I have a couple radishes here. I'll put a couple more peas on top, and then these little pea greens, toss them in my dressing here. The crispy tempura, again, we have crunch from the peas just being cooked, the raw radishes, the crispy tempura, and then at the base of it, our espuma really is the, the soft element and the toasted almond flavor is going to kind of play off the peas. Every bite's going to taste a little bit different and every bite you're going to get all three of those textures in there.